All right, and we're getting into the battle against our opponent. Let's see what six they decided to bring. Uh, they got the Iron Treads, the Primarina, the Cinderace, the Okie Doki, which I kind of didn't expect. It's not that big of a deal, but I really didn't expect it. The Mesprit, which is their Terra Captain, and the Kyurem. So, um, things I noticed off the back, no, uh, Decidueye, that's amazing, I did not deal with that thing well, no Lycanroc Dusk, no Kilowatch Rule, no Kamala, no Spide Ops, Spide Ops is nice, uh, to not see, don't have to worry about webs, um, and Mesprit could be very Electric or Steel, I'm really expecting Steel this matchup, um, but you know, we're ready for everything, yeah, that's crazy, no Kyurem is super, super nice, so I think I just want to lead off with something where I don't just get nuked by the Cinderace right away. And so that option's gonna be Mudsdale. Um, worst case, um, they lead Tread, they lead Prim. Um, I have good pivots into those. Uh, Mesprit would be kind of annoying to see lead as well. So maybe I wanna need something to counter the Mesprit. You know what? Let's go ahead and lead Pult. I think Pult could be a really nice lead for me. Just get a Specs uh, hit off on something. They didn't bring the Kamala, so they don't have that Ghost Resist, which is super, super nice. Good luck up onto our opponent. My Tread switch is going to be Eel. My Primarina switch in is um, Eel slash Electros. Um, or, I'm sorry, uh, Eel slash Cryogonal. My Cinderace switch is going to be, uh, was it, Mudsdale. My... Okie switch switching is also Mudsdale. My Mesprit switching is kind of up in the air. I'll probably make it uh, Cryogonal uh, so I can spin on it. And then my Kyurem switching is also Cryo. So, yeah, it's going to be more of an offensive game for me for sure. Um, but we're going to see this thing lead right now. And I think a Spex Flamethrower just nukes this absolutely. Um, and so I think that's going to be what I click against the Iron Treads. Um, if we're leading against it, a Spex Flamethrower... If their max HP um, has a chance to kill, I don't mind taking this. So I'm going to go ahead and fire off a flamethrower. See if we can pick up the KO here. They're going to just hard to withdraw. Am I going to see the Primarina come in? Blue Kang. That okie dokie. Cinderace. Wow, on the flamethrower. Had I just shadow balled, that would have been crazy. Um, we're going to do about 20% to it. Of course, I'm locked in. I got to pivot out. We're going to go into um, our Mudsdale here and see what they want to do. So against the Cinderace, we did about 20, maybe 25%. So they got some HP investment, which makes sense for, um, from their speed creeping. But we're looking pretty much on point. Nothing crazy. Like if they sped crap, they probably have like a solid like 160. I don't remember the exact amount, but it looks about right. Um, that or they could go Admin and have no bulk, but I'm guessing they would go Jolly just to be safe. It makes sense to me. Got a bit of chip off on the Cinderace. How do we Shadow Ball? How much would Pole have done? I'm curious. We would have been able to two shot this thing. Of course, we would have had to take a big old sucker punch, but it's all good. So we're going to switch out here into our Mudsdale. We're going to see what this thing wants to do to us. Of course, we're going to take a big chunk. We're going to see the sucker punch. Okay. Interesting. So I guess they were thinking maybe we weren't specs. Um, that's cool. We got the sucker punch off. And this is a pretty free, I want to say body press, right? Because they're a dark type. Or did the, the Protean not go off? Or what is it called? The barrel? Either way, they're not staying in here. I think their switch in to me would have to be the Mesprit. Um, so I guess fire off a big stone edge here and see what they want to do. Uh, I don't want to pivot out just in case they U-turn. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and stone edge. Covers this thing. Um, and then also covers the Mesprit coming in. We need a bit of chip off on that. Play me. That sounds like a Mesprit to me. Yeah. So we can see the Mesprit come in here. Um, how much damage are we going to see off the Stone Edge? We can see about 20% as well. And we're going to see lefties. So. Oh, no. Red card. Okay. That's cool. So that looks like a max Fizz Def, I think. Or pretty physically defensive. And we're going to get switched in the pull, which is awesome. And we're going to get rid of their red card. They're going to waste that right away, which is super nice, probably for a rev of room. Um, and that's just amazing for us. So I'm going to go ahead. I get to U-turn here for free. 
you don't stay in here. If you do, no problem. I just go into Cryo, go into Eel, you know, anything like that. I think U-Turn is a super, super free play right now. If they want to tear and do a steal to try to bait me out, I don't have to worry about that. I get a free turn off. And honestly, uh, if this is a max Fizz def, Mesprit, how much damage do I need with Rev of Room to get this Terra or for um, Temper Flare to kill? Let's see, Terra Steel um, at plus one because of Shift Gear. I need this thing at about half. So if I get this thing just a little bit more weakened, I think this is really the only thing stopping me. I think Okie Dogie could maybe live a hit at, um, at plus one. Iron Treads could as well. Just a bit of chip on something. So we're going to see the Terra. Are we going to see Terra Steel? That makes the most sense to me in this matchup. Yeah, Terra Steel. So good to know. that. And so I think when you turn into Eel, I think that just makes the most sense. Although it is going to suck if I get knocked here. I won't lie. It's going to really suck a lot with Eel. That Assault Vest is pretty important. So maybe I want to go Cryo. The only thing is Cryo can't touch it at all. I could go into you, but you're going to be important. I uh, I don't want to catch a knockoff with Owen either is the problem. But how much are we taking if we do take the knockoff right now uh, from Esprit? Let's go uh, knockoff. Taking a good amount. Um... But then we can just recover the following turn, and then we instantly become a switch and do this mess for every single time. Um, U turn would also be unfortunate, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go into Owen here. Not a big deal. And we're gonna see what this thing wants to do to me, right? We can see knock. No, draining kiss, okay. We're gonna see draining kiss, which is kind of annoying. It does, you know, provide recovery for this thing, but. It's not that big of a deal. It knocked us down to 201, which is 20%. So, a bit of special attack investment. Oh, that's probably because it's impish. Let's change you to bold. Yeah, it's looking about right. So, just a max fizz dev bold set. No big deal. I get to go ahead and fire off a focus blast here. Um, that or I can knock off this thing. Um, although, it doesn't have an item anymore and it's tear steel. So, I think just firing off a focus blast here is really, really good. Um, we're going to miss. It is what it is. I was whenever I was doing prep, I was like, I'm really surprised that this thing is um what the word I'm looking for. It's not um I'm really surprised that it doesn't learn aura sphere. That's pretty crazy to me. Uh, but we're gonna see the calm mind. Uh does focus blast still two shot this thing? Probably not. That also means I have to hit two, and also they're gonna drain and kiss off. Uh, damage, right? So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go into ammo here. Get this roar off. I'm really glad that we put roar in the set. That was the last second change, but it's gonna come in handy right now. So we see draining kiss, and we see calm mine. So we're gonna get up to plus two. So I'm gonna have to take a plus two hit here, which I don't love, and it's probably gonna get back up to full. But at least this is gonna stop this thing from setting up any further on me. So we're gonna go ahead and fire off a roar. How much is body press doing? Um, from Mudsdale, just for me to know. It does about 30%. It's a potential 3-shot, especially without leftovers. Um, if you're max fizz def, get rid of lefties. It's a 16% chance of 3-hit KO. Um, and after draining kisses, of course, it's going to be like a 4-5 or five KO. Not that bad, though. Just need to get the plus 3. We'll be fine. They're going to call mine again, which is super awesome. I don't have to take a plus two attack from this mess for it. Really, really great for me. Uh, maybe they thought I was going to body press them or something like that. But we're going to get a big roar off in this thing. Um, so that's good to know from the mess for it. Um, that's going to be a problem. Just making sure this thing can't sit up on me. We're going to go ahead and see the Kiram come out, which I also don't love. That's also not great for me. Um, so... Unfortunately, might have to take the L here and hit it with a roar because I'm afraid of DD. DD is insanely scary for me. Um, and if they do that, I'm in a really, really bad spot. I'm curious if they're... I can live an Ice Beam and I can save Amo, but I also need this. Oh, man, this is a really bad position to be in right now. I could go into Kaz as well. Could totally go into cask. I think you just ice beam me or you Draco. Um, I take the the hit, of course. 
and then I immediately threaten this thing out because I can Terra, Steel, I can live and eat Earth Power, get a Shift Gear off, go from there. I think that's what I want to do. Oh. This is a really bad spot to be in. Uh, we're going to have to scout this Kira Miz though. Hopefully I see special and I don't regret. All right, we're going to see freeze dry. That's awesome. So we're going to knock me down to 243. Oh, no, 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 no. All right, so that sucks. Uh, that's awesome. Freeze dry did 23 to me? 23? Oh, am I looking at that right? 243, 77, 23? That did no damage. I'm not going to lie. So that might be a physical DD set, in which case I'm in a bad place right now because I got frozen. Uh, yeah, dude, that sucks. What do I do now? Maybe I go into Owen because I know I always outspeed up plus one and I can threaten this thing right away. Oh man, uh, that might be my best bet. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Getting frozen sucks. This is my win con. And it just got frozen. Uh, so, freeze dry. Uh, we saw on Kiram. We're gonna go into our our thing. We're gonna see scale shot. Okay, so as long as we live this, so maybe it's loaded dice. We'll see right now. 110 to 67. Not loaded dice. Um, so, 110. To 67 that's 33 43 so it did 43 HP per hit just 17 percent so what can we see off that 17 percent off of Kiram uh, let's go to Dragon Dance Gel shot let's do three hits well, can I do one hit that'd be cool all right 17 34 um, it's probably like a mixed attacker but we know we have to speed this thing we just gotta land a focus blast here. We just gotta land a focus blast. Please, we already missed one. Cool. That's awesome for me. We're gonna do about 60%. Of course, we're gonna have to lose our DL here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's great. Alright, so Kiram. Kills. Dio. Um, so we still scale shot, and it's that weakness policy right now. Do we just lose this game? Do we just lose this game? Oh my goodness. So, what about you, Cryogonal? What are you looking at right now, buddy? So, if scale shot hits three times, I'm dead. So I'd have to go for it only hitting twice. If I go into Mr. Mudsdale, um... Go like freeze dry. It's killing me with any investment. I could go back into Kaz and hope that it doesn't have a hit. And hope to knock out. I could go into John Jr. But I just dropped there to high school spear. Or I can go Electros. Hope that high school only hits three times and hopefully get the KO with Drain Punch. I guess that's my best bet, man. Hope that Ice School Spirit only hits like three times. I can live it. I can hit any three hit move and should be able to pick up the KO with Drain Punch. Let's see what happens here. You can see Scale Shot. I need this to only hit three times. Oh, oh. Okay, they don't have as much. Oh, man. You're kidding me, dude. A freeze and a crit. That's crazy. Oh, my gosh. All right. Well, we're looking uh, not so good. Um, this might be getting me getting swept again due to hacks. That's crazy. That is freaking crazy. Oh, man. All right. So, going to this. We tear a steel. Uh, no point in me shift gearing right now. Let's go ahead and just get off the iron head. Hope we can pick up the KO. That's my best bet here. Um, yeah, dude. This sucks. This sucks. So I should be able to live a uh, skull shot and ice skull spear here. Um, 
But we're gonna see Earth Power. I should I don't know if I live that because of plus two. Yeah. I think I just get swept here. That freaking sucks. So we're gonna drop to one and two, and like really bad differential. I don't think I picked up KO. So I'm gonna be like one and two minus six at this point. Um, really hate to see that happen. Uh, but it is what it is, right? The game we play. Hopefully, we can bounce back next week. These next few weeks. I don't think I played either of these games poorly. It's just, you know, missed three attacks last week, uh, and then you know, getting frozen into um, getting crit there because they would have had to hit all five times, um, and they're not loaded dice, right? So, you know, this wouldn't have worked. I did say before the battle started, Kiram was going to be a problem. I expected DD skill shot also works, right? Um, yeah, man, that really sucks. Um, had they not gotten the freeze, I would have, I would have iron headed there because I definitely lived in Earth Power. Um, definitely lived in Earth Power. I think. I can't tell how much attack investment they have. Uh, let me see here. So, let's just say max special attack, even though I know that's not the case, against my Rev of Room, I tear Steeled, Earth Power, uh, they wouldn't have had the plus two. Uh, this is without Earth Power, sorry, let me just get the, the battle freaking rolling, right? Um, it only would have done about 60%, I was like at 80, so I would have lived for sure. Um, but yeah, just how it goes. Also crazy that they scale shot it. Um, I guess I'm frozen, so might as well go for the scale shot. Maybe I should have stayed in and tried to unthaw. But I mean, I think I made the right call with um, switching out and just trying to beat it with um, whatever it's called, Deoxys. But also weakness policy was the thing. I should have thought about that. Maybe not focus blast. I could have psy shocked and then. Um, maybe I could have revenged with Eel because it wouldn't have had the boost. So I guess there was things I also could have done at the end of the day, getting frozen, getting crit with the scale shot. But it is what it is. GG to our opponent. Go check them out. All the coaches are down in the description below. The SDA playlist is also in the description below so you can see all the games, see all the fun that has obviously occurred this season. And um, yeah, I mean, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching and I'm out. Peace.